Let's get ready to rumble! So this is how I managed to lose my hair with the fight of the century, with the fight of the of the hundreds of years, the masters, two masters, the undertaker and the drunken fist who is driving right now was fighting <laughs> and the, with the final battle I lost but that's not the, the last battle that we will face and I will, I want a rematch so Ooh, rematch! <laughs> Let's go! Anyways, um, at this point we are heading to the sea, to the Palanga, Lithuanian uh, city, where the Lithuanian championships are held and the last uh, competition in the season, so I don't know, we will see how it will go and I hope the PR is coming. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. How do you feel about the parking uh, areas in the Polanga? As you can see, it's somewhere in the forest because today it's fucking weekend, Saturday, and everybody comes comes here. And yeah, you, you have to struggle when you want to find some parking place. It's because everyone is crazy about the sea yeah. and Lithuanian championships, of course. Of course. <laughs> Hello and welcome yet my beautiful people to Lithuanian championships and and the greatest uh, stadium in Lithuania this is in this event this stadium gonna be the greatest bloodbath gladiatorian com combat gonna be here the PRs, the world, record, world records, Lithuanian records, 
everything. Today is, today is the day, my friends. Okay, welcome again and as always I will try to do a little bit of commentary in this race. So this is it, all the best around 800 meters runners in, is in this heat and we are about to start. As you can see I'm trying to remain calm, not making any unnecessary movements. And we are off. As you saw, I stumbled a little bit before the side was like, okay, what was that all about? So the tactic of this race for me was very similar to Nick Simmons, American former Olympian in 800 meters. To stay in the back and then go off. Because I knew that going to the front would be a bloodbath. The best runner has a PR 1 minute 48 seconds, so there's no point in destroying myself this early. Even though I was in the back, I still started too fast. First 200 meters was 26 seconds, I think. I don't know if I will ever learn how to pace myself. Uh, although, when it's this kind of heat, you don't want to stay too much in the back because it will be hard to catch up at all. Everyone is kind of cruising right now. No one is going off. I'm totally in the back. Even the last runner just passed me through. Uh, and the first 400 meters was, I think, around 55 seconds. Again, too fast, but what can you do? If you go too slow psychologically, it will be hard to catch up. So now I think everyone tries to push themselves. I think what mistake I did is that I didn't go off in the last 300 meters. I was still kind of waiting. Um, but you run and you learn, I guess. I'm not a professional runner, so I can allow, I guess, these kinds of mistakes right now. And it's kind of useful to have footage and see what I can improve in the future. So after 600 meters, I don't remember what time it was, but the best runner, of course, now doing his show. And good for him, I mean. But for me, is the battle for the fifth place. I want to be fifth in Lithuania right now, this year, and I'm going to get it. As you can see, I pushed it through with the, what I could and here you go. I le leaned a little bit forward to get it and I'm fifth. So yeah, that's all. How do you feel? Amazing. The line between pain and never give up. It's very thin in 800 meters. Keep going. So what happened? Did you did you slip before start? Huh? Did you slip when when you had to start? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. 
So it didn't confuse you around? A little bit, but I'm fine, as you can see. I don't know the time yet, but... What do you feel about time? It's good? I don't know. I didn't see. But the first lap was a bit too fast. I saw that it was like 50... This is the great news. The greatness runner in my life I ever, I ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't have words. So, how do you know that the person is a psychopath? He's running 800 meters. That's when you know that he's a psychopath. After every race, you know that you are dying. And you really are dying, but. But after that, somehow, for some fucked up reason, you still go and train, you still go and run, you still do the shit. It's like, why? That's the beauty of it. Okay, so... The time was 1.56.30, which is a little bit better than the last time, but... It's not what I expected, I expected 1.55, like I said before. Uh, in the end, I'm... I'm happy with this as well, I still improved, uh, but but now I'm thinking how can I adjust uh, my training and everything, but anyways, it's okay and now it's a beer phase, let's drink some beer, you know. Fucking alcoholic. Look how much you can do it, thank you for your time, Jura. the end of the season, the YouTube season and the athletic season. Uh, next season is gonna be great, I think. Much better than this one because I, I'm a little bit prepared. And uh, although I'm actually a little bit sad that I couldn't manage to do 155, but uh, I'm actually happy in a way because I managed to snatch 2.5 seconds out of my PR, so it's kind of the indicator that my training is paying off and I need to stay in that lane and I managed to do it by training alone with no uh, no athletes to support me so I'm very happy actually so uh, now that's it that's the end of the vlog and I just need to recover to go to the city so The moment. Look at the bottom of the school. What? 
вообще. Say goodbye to the old hair. I'm gonna throw this away and welcome to a new Barely Gloria season. Let's go, baby. Everybody was Kung Fu fighting. <laughs> Uh, good uh, chips, uh, smart snacks, uh, oh, oh, uh, bye.